Hello, this is The Moat, and welcome to my series on fruit servers. This is the uh, this is going to be play on the fruit server Minecraft servers. They have both the survival server, which we're on right now, and the skyblock server, which uh, we'll probably visit right before the end of this episode. Uh, not going to be quite a let's play, as, you've been, as you can see behind me. I've been playing on the server for a little while. I've got uh, a fair setup. Oh, let me scoop there. So this is my underground hideout, and I've been playing on here for... Uh, Gosh, I've been playing on the server for about nine months now, I guess. Uh, it's a great little server. It's based in Australia. And so being uh, as I'm on the west coast of the United States, it's uh, I can get a little bit of lag now and again, but really not bad. Surprisingly good uh, connectivity. It's a great little server. It has lot, lots of neat little plugins and whatnot, and I'll show you some of those here in just a moment. And uh, it's, got, it's got a very good community, um, so I like it. Uh, sometimes, like as of right now when I'm on, there's really not too many people on because here in the United States it's in the morning, but in Australia uh, it's, uh, I guess, around midnight, as I recall. There's 17 or 18 hours ahead of me um, for most of Australia. So uh, sometimes it's very quiet when I hop on here. Um, they also have lots of events and stuff like that, but they're usually on at 2 o'clock in the morning in my time, so I don't know. Uh, maybe we'll try to capture one or two if we can, uh, but we'll see how it goes. Now, one of the things that you can do is you can have, you'll notice different names, uh, the different ranks on names there. Mine's got uh, lemon beside it. You can, uh, those are donor donor ranks. So you can donate via the store. There's, if you just look out, if you Google fruit servers, you'll find all the information on how to sign up. Uh, you can just log in as a guest and, and you, know, you don't have to do anything, but if you wanna, you can go to a free membership status uh, and that'll give you a few perks, and so that's always a good thing. And they also encourage people to vote for the server on Planet Minecraft, and I'm blanking on the name of the other one, but it's... Uh, um, there we go. Uh, the, those, are, those are two places you can go vote for it. Once you, uh, you need to become a member so you can get benefits from it, and we'll talk about that in just a second as well. So uh, let me start off. First, I'm going to show you, you know, as a member, I'm, I've made a little donation. and got a couple of perks. I get some mini blocks, which you can see... Uh, Right there. So here are some of the mini blocks that uh, you know by purchasing the perk I can put down mini blocks, um, and then I've got a couple of others that, that include going back to my death spot. <laughs> so when I die, I can go back and get my stuff. Uh, but as a as a donor, I get different kits as well. So one of the things I do is get a, a lemon kit. So I'm just going to go ahead and grab that right now. I'll show you real quick what it is. Uh, it gives you some ender pearls. It gives you uh, eight gold ingots, sixteen iron ingots. Uh, eight lapis and 16 bottles of enchantment. Now, I tend to just gather the stuff. Oops, wrong one. Uh, you can see I'm, I'm, these are all my bottles of enchantment. Anyway, uh, so you know, it helps you stock up with stuff as you go along. Uh, so let me go ahead and put this stuff away real quick. I'm running out a little bit of space, so we'll take care of that. And there we go. So I've hollowed out my little base here. I have you know, the basics in my farm, and there's a uh, just give you a quick little mini tour. Uh, my nether wart in my end portal. Uh, been gathering armor as we go along. And they've got these little challenges. So you can win by sort of paying attention to responses and stuff like that, and you get all kinds of. Oh, was that me? Oh, I didn't realize I had won that, actually. So, I have to pay attention. Um, Alright, so in this one I got uh, two blocks of gold, and I think that's it. My inventory is a bit messy. Um, oh, and $350, so that's good. Uh, Anyway, uh, so there is a, a, a economy kind of thing going on here. I've got some money. Um, <laughs> All right. Um, so you get a couple gold blocks and, uh, oops, I can't even figure out what I'm, now, now I'm all flustered. What do you know? That was just kind of silly. Uh, so you can get some rewards, which is nice. Uh, you can spend money at shops. We'll probably visit one here before this first episode is out. Uh, let me check time here real quick. Don't want to go too long on this. All right, and we'll see some more of the bases we go along. 
Of course, you can have pets and things like that, all kinds of, of different bonuses. So that's the kit system. Now, I've mentioned earlier voting. The you, When you vote, you get uh, vote keys. And um, at, at, I, I've already used this one, so I don't have one right now. Uh, but if you vote each day, you can get a vote key each day. And then once they've received 100 votes for the server, then they also give out party keys. There's a vote party, and you can collect those. Now, I, I haven't been on the server for a few days, so my, my party keys have been accruing. So we're going to hop on out to the crates and I'll kind of show you what you can um, what you can win with the, with the vote keys. This is a server spawn. It's got a number of things here, including these uh, vote keys. It's got a warp wild, which we'll use here in a few minutes. Uh, that'll take you to a random spot in the world. We have, um, you can do fruit selfies and post them as well. Uh, there's free food over that direction, right there, see free food. Uh, it's got information on the different voters and whatnot, and there's all kinds of concepts that are going on. There are shops here. Their main spawn, when you first come in, is right up there. Uh, there's a marriage chapel. There's a marriage plug-in so you can get married. Uh, I'm married in real life, so I stay that way. Um, I don't bother to pick up any. Uh, one wife is more than enough to keep me busy and happy. I can't deal with anybody else. Um, there's also a shop, which I think is just right down there, but it's just up through these stairs. So Spawn has a lot of good stuff here, and they do occasional events here and other places. So now if I had just voted, I would have had a, vote, a fruit vote key. Uh, I haven't voted. Uh, I'll vote later today, so I'll get one then. But here's the fruit party crates uh, keys. This is where I can use the keys I currently have. And occasionally you'll get a fruits, uh, fruiter's key, and those have even the best prizes. So they go up the, the ladder. I'll show you what some of the prizes can be. You can see them as they scroll past here. And everything from money to, you know, Elytra, Elytra, Elytra. So we got fifteen hundred dollars, yeah. Um, and uh, you know, dragon heads. I've got several dragon heads, beacons, the whole nine yards. They also have things, uh, special abilities such as fly and, and god mode. There's another beacon, uh, so that's pretty cool. Got a bunch of beacons. And let's see, we'll just go ahead and run through this little one. Uh, and so it's kind of fun to go get these things, the diamonds, yeah, three thousand dollars, so I can go buy stuff. Uh, I'll show you one of the other plugins that's recent. Um, it's the auction. Plugin. I think this was created maybe for the server. I can't quite tell. Uh, they do they only call them diamonds. Always take that. Um, they have a very active staff here, which is nice to see. Um, and they've they had this spawn built for them um, commercially, uh, so they do reinvest the money that they they get from donations. And um, it's a, it's a beautiful spawn. The, the, the previous spawn was very nice too. There are parkours if you want to go do those. I will not embarrass myself today by doing that. Um, but you can see there's the, the parkour sign. You can't get hurt here on that spawn, I don't think. Uh, but you can see it's kind of a pretty, a pretty setup. And if you ever get fly, there's actually, uh, I think the owner's is H1N9. And I think his office is either up there or in one of these buildings. Anyway, um, yes, I did find it one day. Uh, so we're not going to go around here too much. I wanted to show you really quickly the auction plugin, which is just AH. And here you can put up stuff for auction. These are things that people have put up to sell. Um, and you can go ahead and buy them if you have the money. So it's one of the ways you can use your money. And then some of them use it for advertising. Uh, and so if you have a ton of money, you can buy even an Electra. Um, that's a nice pick, isn't that? Oh, with mending plus. Uh, not whether you spend that kind of money. People are selling their starter short for $100,000. I don't think I'll buy that today, but thanks for the offer. All right, and you can actually post things here, and we'll do that in just a second, but here's, it talks about uh, what is this page, gives you all the information, how to sell, it's just simply that command, AH to sell or the price. So we're gonna go ahead and we'll do that. Um, so I'm gonna do AH, so I put the item I wanna sell in my hand, which is this, this beacon, I wanna do the sell. And uh, I put it up for 1500 last time, I found out that was relatively, relatively cheap. So I'm gonna go 2500. And now we have something listed in our auction house. Right there, by me, yay. All right, uh, now let's see if I can do this without getting lost. I'm gonna run over and show you the, the shop. There is a warp to it, warp market or warp shop. I can never remember quite which way it is. But I just wanna show you a little bit more of the spawn. Um, so here are portals to the different um, places. Uh, there's a server hub, there's a creative world, skyblock. You can also get those by warp commands. Uh, here are the build comp winners from the last um, the last uh, build. Players of the month and all that kind of stuff. Server stats are available down there. 
Um, here's there's the owner and the um, administrators, Goldsta and Aphrodite, uh, and you'll see them on here often. So community manager, excuse me, I forgot the proper title. Here are a lot of the admins. So if you're ever curious, you can kind of figure out, and come see what the uh, the admins look like, and uh, we've got some openings for it. But here's going to be a shop down here. And so if you come down here, hello. I don't remember that. Hmm. Oh, well. uh, if you come in here, you've got all kinds of, of stuff you can buy. There's a, a buy you know, shop plugin. And let's see, oh, the, I'll take a quick check on time here. I want to make sure I don't run over. No, we're doing fine. Um, and you can buy not necessarily everything, but most items are available here. So if you don't have something early off and you need something, or if there's kind of a rare item, you can even buy certain spawn eggs. This is a rabbit egg or a villager egg, horse egg, polar bear egg, polar bear egg. Oh, I gotta have me one of these. So if you wanna buy something, you just right click the sign and bada bing, there you go. I can now spawn my own polar bear. If you wanna sell something, now these all have a B1000, though the price is after the B, so these are $800 here, 800 here, 600 here, 1000 there. Uh, for some of these, you can also sell. Uh, let's see, are we sell? Yeah. So, like food, if you have sell, you can buy one, um, buy wheat for four, or sell it for half dollar fifty cents. So you can buy and sell stuff here. And while we're covering selling and buying, here's the player market. And so the player market, and again, they've got all the information you want to know about it. Uh, like I said, being on. The West Coast of the United States, and this is a Sydney, I think it's Sydney based server. Um, it, I get a little bit of lag once in a while. Nothing, nothing tremendous. It actually works really well. Got multiple floors of stores. These are stores by players and admins and whatnot. Uh, you can see the player names over there. So there, here's Aphrodite Shop, and they do them up. And again, you can sell your stuff here. You can even set up a, a store out in the wild if you so want to do so. So you got your own house and just tell people to come visit. So it's a way of, of having an economy and selling your stuff. So let me do, um, I just didn't, didn't catch him coming on. Uh, people tend to be real nice and say welcome back to the folks joining up here. We're going to jump over to spawn one more time and uh, I'm going to show you the, <laughs> yay I'm remembered. All right, so, so this is Warp Wilds. Uh, this way to the wild, jump into the portal to start your adventure. So, um, yeah, yeah, just sometimes I run around without armor, I'm just not paying attention. And boom, hello. So this just warps you to a random place in the world. Uh, yeah, just collect a little bit of this. Uh, and, you, and each time you go in, it takes you to a different place. So it's a, a quick and easy way to explore the world. Uh, whoops. Now, there's nothing above me, right? I just, yeah, I just missed it. Um, this is a family-friendly server. I need to be clear about that. Uh, it's... Um, didn't catch it. <laughs> no, I, I certainly can't right now. Um, it, it is a, a family-friendly server, so um, you know, be, there's there's not a really a griefing plugin. You can lock your chests and things like that. Um, but you know, anybody can do anything anywhere. Uh, but they do do a lot of, of careful work of if some, you know, if there's a grief announced, you get warned uh, and they'll roll back any of the changes so that you're you know, back to where you started uh, without any damage. Am I allowed to use the VPAC? No, I didn't know I was that a command. Anyway, um, whoop, we scared them off. Uh, so now I lost track of what I was saying. Uh, oh, so family friendly server. Uh, they do allow uh, cussing, so mom and dad, you know, just be aware that occasionally you'll see cussing. It's pretty rare, um, and, so, and certainly low level stuff. They don't encourage you to use it very often. Uh, in fact, if you can see all the rules by doing slash rules, uh, I won't read them all to you. But respect players and staff. No, no hacked clients. You know, or X-ray mods, that kind of stuff. No griefing. Um, no offensive, distasteful usernames or skins. Um, Swearing must be kept to a minimum. That was something. No, uh, no spamming. Um, they don't do any auto grinder. They don't. They don't encourage. You know, MCM. Oh, grind is another plugin. MCM is a, a thing we'll talk about in the next one. Um, no death traps. Um, you know, don't let others play. 
just kind of the basic stuff. And they encourage you not to uh, ask for rank. And of course, for impersonating staff, of course, isn't always a bad idea. So uh, it is a family-friendly server. I've I've been on here when you know some crank tries to get on here and be a real jerk. And uh, frankly, the mods have just stepped in and squashed it immediately. I've been quite impressed with uh, how the staff handles all of that. All right, so let me just uh, instead of wandering around wild, uh, wa wandering around idly, excuse me. So if you just do warp wild, oops. Uh, if you just do warp wild, right, like that, it'll take you back to this warp and you can go in again and go to a whole new place. And so often I'll just kind of do this as a, hello, uh, as a way of kind of exploring the world. And yes, it does bring you to, you know, this is the survival world. So this is where, um, you know, other players are building and stuff like that. As always, you need to be respectful. That's kind of an interesting build there. Let me just change something real quick. Uh, I like to do this. I can't remember. I think it's six. Um, I'll have to play with it again. Uh, but it allows the fog to come in properly. It doesn't look like quite, maybe it's four. Anyway, um, so I'm just going to shrink my render distance. I may have gone too far now because it looks like I'm truncating a little. Uh, anyway, so, sorry, take that back up. I'll have to find out what the correct render distance is so that we get that fog effect at the edge of the field of vision. I do like that. Anyway, look at that sunset. Holy Christmas. All right. I think we're running down to the edge of our time. I've covered a lot of the basics um, of, of you know, the simple part of the world. This is a survival world, so out here, anything can happen and does. And if you die, your stuff just ends up on the ground. Uh, that's why buying a perk like back is always a good thing. Because if I type, if I die and then type slash back, I can get right back here, pick up my stuff, hopefully. Uh, they do allow PvP in areas, but it's a, a kind of a request. You have to add, you sort of check with somebody to see if they want to do PvP, uh, unless there's a, you're in a specific arena. Uh, so people can't just go around and kill you automatically, which is a nice thing. Um, and we'll talk about a bunch. I mean, there's all kinds of plugins. Um, uh, one of them is the MC MMO. You see on the right hand side here, it gives my. Um, Find a good background for it. There we go, I guess. Anyway, uh, it gives my stats uh, for certain things, and these give you certain benefits, like unarmed, it allows you to hit people without a sword and you do more damage, that kind of stuff. Um, but we'll talk more about, about those in future episodes. My plan for this series is really just to be, is just to go through and, and have fun on the server, explore it, uh, attend whatever events I might be able to get to, um, but also do sort of a let's play, and show you the server a little bit. Uh, so before we go, well, no, because we're kind of wrapping up on time, we'll save Skyblock for the next time. I do have a, an island by Skyblock that's been quite an adventure to put that together. Uh, it's also a very good community. Same rules apply. All right. Well, we're coming down to the end of the time here. I'm just going to bop back to my home and um, put some stuff away here. Uh, and then I think we're going to call it quits for now. Um, I think the last thing I'm going to do is just go ahead and go upstairs and I will check on uh, the upstairs of the house, make sure everything's okay up there. Um, I'll put this stuff away off screen here. So uh, give me just a moment. We'll be right back. All right. So we'll close up the episode here, just showing you the upstairs. I came up here just to see how everything was. Um, this is uh, my little tower here. Um, I don't really live here, but it's kind of fun to go up and, and see the view. Uh, we'll run up real quick. And I uh, have some friends who, uh, and my son who lives nearby, or has some stuff nearby. They don't really live nearby. So um, that's a friend's house. Uh, that's my little collection of animals. I've got a little tent you can see right there. Um, and this is, this is kind of where I live on the server. Um, nice little fishing area and whatnot. You can see, oh, and by the way, I got the, the, res the um, distance resolution. You can see the fog effect there, so it doesn't just look like a sharp, sharp edge. Uh, and it's set to short for um, uh, for me. That's what works to give me that fog effect, and that's all right with me. Uh, but we'll go ahead and, and cut the episode here. I'm looking forward to um, sharing the journey here. I have started quite a bit here, but I think there's lots and lots left to do uh, and, and enjoy ourselves while we're at it. So I hope you join me in the series, and I think we're going to have a whole lot of fun. More than happy to take a look at your suggestions, any constructive uh, comments, suggestions um, for episodes and whatnot, uh, down in the comment sections are we greatly appreciated, and uh, look forward to seeing you on this journey. So guys, I hope all is well with you, and I will catch you 
on the flip side.